Good morning to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover British pound versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I'll start with the British pound versus US dollar first. This is something that uh, we were uh, tracking for the last couple of days. And after the announcement and the um, interest rate decision, basically we had a down day but the market found the support and found the buyers around 1.2500 which is a very very just the level that we spoke yesterday and we can see that after such a big down move market went into the sideways area so this is also the fibonacci confluence um, the area around 1.2525 we also have a fibonacci expansion to 1.2500 area and we have the cluster of the recent uh, basically of the swing highs uh, from the background and from my perspective as long we can stay as I said above uh, as long the market can stay above this 1.2 let's say 420 area um, th there is a potential for the upside continuation in the next period um, so at this point market was marked down but so far there is a sideways uh, movement and I see this area like a very strong uh, support area. So if there is a, you know, if the market start to build higher lows on intraday or so, there is a potential for um, at least a move, a move back towards the 1.2580, 580 area, 575, and then potentially for the market to build higher. But so far, pay attention to this uh, support zone and the price action around this key support zone market is still building higher lows we didn't take the this low at 1.2427 so as long as i said as the pound is trading above uh, this area this is uh, for me positive for the further upside movement and especially after those kind of uh, sharp down moves um, after the news so pay attention on the pound and potential for the upside continuation this is a key support zone where the pound uh, USD is trading uh, speaking of the gold market, so the market is still, again, similar like to the pound, is still building higher lows. Uh, there was this uh, uh, cl climax day here, but uh, we can place also um, the retracement level here. And we can find this is a 61.8 where the market is trading at this point. Uh, from some previous swings, we can see if we take a look of the this the swings here so we have from this low we have a 38.2 so this is a quite an important support zone for the goal right this, this is a crucial area for the goal because from my perspective the goal really you know start to trade below this 1998 and have acceptance below then there is a chance for the market to take the and attack those uh, serious of so the lows at 1976 or 1970. But for, for me, this this is a very important pivot, uh, exactly where the, the price is trading now. We also have the rising trend line still, so the upside is intact uh, from my perspective. Yesterday's negative data, actually it was like some mixed data. The market actually didn't have a power to go higher and sellers stepped in but we'll see today uh, we have a key support on the test so uh, the trend is still strongly to the upside and uh, from my perspective uh, there is a still chance for the higher prices in the next period but we need to see that in the price section and the market will need to start to uh, to unfold and you know start to build some higher lows intraday and it can start the upside movement at least towards the 2040 or maybe even to retest 2078 so key support on the test on the goal uh, speaking of the crude oil, this is exactly what we mentioned yesterday, uh, potential for the downside rotation towards the 71. We exactly got that. This was a key area. This was also a Fibonacci retracement if we go from the, like a major from from this swing height was a 61.8. Um, so and um, right. So we have this area here we got a cluster here 
and this is a very it was a very nice rotation down and we can clear this uh, range of the downside so there is a chance for from my perspective to retest the 68 50 55 and uh, even if there is a bigger supply than to go into this pin bar territory as i mentioned yesterday throughout 66 um, 67 66 area um, and retest that area if we speak about the bitcoin uh, there is now market is breaking this key support cluster that we have here and market isn't a breakout it doesn't look like it's not looking like we have any kind of divergence or any kind of exhaustion. So um, I will not be surprised if the Bitcoin can go towards the 25,300 area, which is the next pivot or even later on 24,000 mark. That will be all for this update, guys, for today. I hope that you did enjoy. Uh, trade safe as always and have a good weekend. Speak to you from next week from Monday.